Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of pissed off. I, I ain't gonna lie. I feel cheated. Cause, you know, they let Andrew come in here with fucking soundtracks and vocals and shit. They ain't let me do none of that. I mean, I ain't had none, but at least I could have asked. Like, what the fuck? Some bullshit. But anyway, what's my manners? I ain't speedy out here. Hi, I'm Sauce Guy Joe. What's happening? Nah, I need some more angels in there. Repeat after me. What's happening? I've been doing comedy about three and a half years, and I perform in front of good white folk. <laughs> so when I say what's happening, repeat after me, they be feeling so involved. They're like, oh my gosh, it's like we're saying slang. <laughs> you can see how suburban white dads lean their wife, they're like, what's happening, honey? <laughs> it's like we're saying the N word. <laughs> Especially the white women, they be like, what's happening? I saw you. I saw you. That leads me to my next point. My biggest fear, white women. Y'all scared the shit out of me. I ain't gonna lie, like I grew up in the hood with all the gangsters, bangers, and drug deals and all that shit. But I walk two blocks and turn the corner and see all that gentrification. Woo! Where the fuck am I? Nigga, I can't be within the, you know, two miles of Starbucks. Hell no. Mm -mm. We actually got to call the Me Too movement because I actually was molested by a white woman. Do y'all want to hear my story? Yeah. Y'all some sickos. Y'all some sickos. Y'all some sickos. But anyway, so I was doing a comedy show, and I think it was Cornelius, North Carolina, somewhere around there. North Cornelius is? In like bumfuck nowhere? Yeah. So I was doing a show out there, and before I um, do a show, I always meditate. I always go off of my own and get my mind right. So I was in this back alley looking thing. I was pacing back and forth, and this white woman comes around the corner, and she looks at me, and she immediately goes into Karen mode. Now, y'all know Karen mode, that means when a white lady involves herself with some problems, and they got shit to do with her. <laughs> I was walking around, and she was like, oh my gosh, you look nervous. Can I help you with that nervousness? And before I could say no, she touched me. She grabbed my face. She went, <laughs> now repeat after me. Let all those negative emotions roll away. <laughs> and I started getting the red flag tear in my eyes. Let all those negative emotions roll away. <laughs> Let all those negative emotions roll away. Let all those negative emotions roll away. And then it got weird. It got real weird. She was like, let all those negative emotions roll away. And then the inside of my mind is like, abort mission, abort mission, abort mission. But my dick was hard. <laughs> so I didn't know what to do, so I panicked. I went, Hoo! Cause I didn't want to touch her. I did not want to touch her. I didn't want to touch her cause you know, like I know, black man straddle a white woman in the back alley in bumfuck North Carolina. That's the easiest police report ever. <laughs> yeah, man. Nah. Okay, I got some head. I got some head. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm playing, I'm playing. I told you I'm playing. But also, um, it's not just white women, white men. Y'all scared the shit out of me. Especially now with all these damn shoes and shit going, you're not in your head, you the main one. You scary as fuck, sir. I'm just saying, like, um, I seen, look, it affects me in my day-to-day -day life. I was coming out the grocery store the other day and there was this white couple and they seemed to be arguing and the wife was just laying into this guy. She was like, you ain't shit. I hope your dick falls off. How can you even call yourself a man? And I guess he just got tired of it. He was like, just put this in the fucking car, Brenda! <laughs> and then she started crying. Tear went down her eye, and she's gonna look at me. I said, bitch, I'm scared too. Put this in the fucking car. <laughs> Come on, you okay, Ty? You good? You good? But I'm gonna start fucking with white people. White people, y'all my friends. It is what it is. I'm gonna start fucking with white people. Cause white people is gangster. Black folks are just paper, don't, don't get it twisted. We is not more gangster than them motherfuckers. They the reason we here right now. They been gangster. Cause the thing is, we gang bang on each other across the street. That's what we do as black folks, stupid. They gang bang on the government. <laughs> January 6th, y'all seen that shit? Mm -mm. I woke up my whole goddamn household when I seen them white people going out of the Capitol building. I like, everybody come look, come look, come look. Man, look, this is the craziest shit ever, man. I seen a guy that look kind of like him right here who's standing up, you. Matter of fact, it was you. Yeah, you raised your hand. 
Man, look, this motherfucker right here had on a Hawaiian shirt, a Yeti cup, and some rainbow flip flops. Scaling the fuck at the Capitol Wall and shit. Everybody in my house sound like they gang banging with their toes out. That shit was crazy. Black folks can never see. You got look. He got all the evidence right there. Get him. Get him. It's crazy. Black folks will never. We take one step on that's just. Oh, you laugh, look at the yeah, we got one. Yeah, undercover, got your ass. Got your ass. Mm. But the world is changing, y'all. Can't y'all see that? Y'all see how much the world is changing nowadays? I'm gonna tell you how I know the world is changing. I seen this article on Facebook, right? It was about some parents that threw a coming out party for their six-year-old son who wanted to come out as a little girl. And at first I was, I really, you know, I was against it. But then it started making me think about my parents and when I grew up, because when I was younger, I wanted to be a dinosaur. And they ain't do shit for me! Fuck my parents! If I wanted to be a Tranisaurus Rex, let me be a Tranisaurus Rex! What's wrong with them? It's crazy, because nowadays what really be fucking with me is like, the, the, the pronouns and shit, the pronouns be fucking with me. Like the other day I had some blue haired lady, um, you know, talk shit. She was like, nobody wants to hear the stupid opinion of a cis male. And I was like, how do be somebody's sister and male at the same time? <laughs> Bitch, you stupid. What wrong with you? But anyway, like it's so crazy for me because I'm a 90s baby. Any 90s babies in here? <laughs> Okay, 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 my people in the house. 90s babies, we are stuck in between two generations. Like we got the older generation, they all got like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, so they're fucking retarded. Then we got the younger generation, they eat like Tide Pies for fun and shit, so they're fucking retarded. So we like the peanut butter and jelly little fruit tar sandwich. And, and, and it, fuck, it affects me in different ways. Like, for example, dating. Dating was different, was different for me because I was raised by the older generation, which Let's call a spade a spade. The older generation, they objectify women. They objectify women. It is what it is. There we go. But now we live in the day and age where we've got to be tolerant of all 5,000 fucking genders it is. So when I meet a woman, I don't know whether it be like, damn, look at them titties, or damn, her dick bigger than mine. Like, it's confusing as shit. Mm -hmm. However, we gotta be more accepting. And then, uh, with me sitting in my thoughts, I come, you know, start to realize things. Like, honestly, ladies don't bite my head off on this one, but on paper, transgender women are better than real women. Hey, y'all, y'all feel that energy? Now, before y'all bite my head off, I got some logic. Y'all wanna hear my logic? Wanna hear my logic? All right, fellas, how many of my fellas in here be playing like video games and their girlfriend be nagging them? Anybody? Oh, they don't want to admit it. Look, it is what it is. Look, 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 see my boy, you know, you, you all right. I don't care if you still on the camera. You all right with me. You all right with me. So, but look, look, look. So you at home playing like 2K and your girl come in nagging you and shit. And that way with a transgender woman, that damn nigga homeboy, she gonna come in and drop 40 her damn self. <laughs> and also, we don't have to have those awkward situations in the grocery store where we gotta go and buy tampons and we don't know what size what that shit is. That pussy man-made, it don't need an oil change. That's all I'm saying, it don't need an oil change. But my, my last reasoning for this is that, um, ladies, y'all always like to say that women eat a vagina better than men because women have a vagina. Is that true? Is that true? Okay, just bear with me. I just hear it a lot. So by that logic, a transgender woman should be able to do something a little better than real women because they had one. We're going to see who all put two and two together. Look, 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 look. He got him a transgender back right there. I see you smiling. Well, for those who are a little slow, they can suck dick better than the real women because they had one. Mm. Well, I see where the crowd is. We're going to throw that joke yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going yeah. to it's, it's, it's walk back from that motherfucker. You feel me? Ah. So, also, 
Andrew was talking about how he's from South Carolina. I myself am from South Carolina. I just moved up here about two and a half months ago. So, hi Charlotte, how are y'all? But the thing is, it's, it's way different because where I'm from, it's the country. And this is very much the city. And there's different things because the thing, I'm gonna tell you what's different about my situation. Because I do not own a car, which is okay in the country because like, I could go to the grocery store on like my lawnmower and shit, and nobody would give a fuck. Now that way here, I'll be on that damn city bus here. And that's a whole different lifestyle right there. Man, I got on the bus the other day. I went to work. I, and I got to get up in the morning. went to work. I got on there. And as soon as I got on there, I smelled like armpits and shit. Like, I smelled like Doc when he said it was musty. I smelled that. And I'm like, it is 6 a.m. How the fuck is y'all already musty? I just got in the the soap. I ain't even absorbed in my skin yet. Like, how the fuck is y'all already musty? That's crazy. Mm. How y'all doing Real Housewives of Charlotte? Y'all good over here? <laughs> I heard he was talking about getting y'all some tequila. Y'all want some tequila for me? Oh, he ain't get it yet? You ain't gonna get it. <laughs> you ain't gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, um, what type of tequila y'all drink? Don Julio, okay. Somebody get this Don Julio, because I'm not gonna do it. Hell no. I'm broke than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I'm so broke, it affects my decision making. What's your name, sir? Huh? Doug. Doug, I'm sauce, so we family now. We cool, we cool, we cool. So Doug gonna put you up on game. I'm like I said, I'm a work ass nigga. So, um, did you know you can donate one testicle for forty thousand dollars? You didn't know that? Yeah, I'll put you up on game, Doug. So let's go. And I was at home thinking about it. My broke ass was thinking about it. Like, hmm, do I really need to be symmetrical? Cause all I don't need is one ball. I can take dick pics from the side. I'm so broke, I wake up every day helping my girlfriend find a sugar daddy. <laughs> and I'm such a supportive boyfriend, like I help her out too. You know what I'm saying? I be like, all right, look at he's gonna wear the booty shorts with the motherfucking high heels and a little spaghetti strap. Now the thing is, you don't want a spaghetti strap all the way down. You don't want to look like a complete hoe. You want to look like you right on the edge and just take that one special guy that's gonna go ahead and tow you over. So you go ahead and do that. And you're gonna go down to the lows, to the lumber section, see if we can find you, find us, or Mr. Charles, cause rent is due on the motherfucking third, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So y'all should have a supportive boyfriend like me, you know what I'm saying? But before I met my girlfriend, I was a heathen. So I'm gonna let my truth. Y'all act like y'all ain't no heathens in here. When he said who in a relationship, ain't nobody saying shit. Lots of heathens in here. But before I was in a relationship, I was a professional side nigga. Straight up. Like, 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 if, if I was your side nigga, we can do our thing, see each other in public, and like we need to know each other. And if I see you in public, I just do this. That's all. But anyway, being, being a side nigga, man, it, uh, you know, it gives you superpowers. It gives you superpowers. I can't tell you something, like, I have extreme agility. So I can jump in and out of windows like Batman. You know what I'm saying? I have good eyesight. With one glance, I can look how much closet space you got. Just because I got hide in that motherfucker. <laughs> and I also have the talent of being able to hide my pistol in my skinny jeans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, being a sign nigga is the reason I even wear skinny jeans. Like, I can be with my, with my lady friend, and then as soon as her boyfriend come around, I'm like, hi, Jamal. How are you? <laughs> oh, there we go. So some of y'all got that. Look, that's how your side nigga do. See, look, what I do it. You look like you got a side nigga too. You got that 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 wanna be Bob, but it's not. You got a cloud up in the back. Yeah. You look like a different one, but just pull one of the little strings out. Hmm. But anyway, did y'all know that side niggas have been in history for a long time? And I want to tell you how. So like. Um, they're in video games. Any of y'all play Super Mario? Yeah. You play Super Mario? Yeah. So why is it every time you beat Super Mario, Princess Peach is in another castle? <laughs> Got kidnapped by the same motherfucker. <laughs> Princess Peach been taking turtle dick since the 1980s, <laughs> and Mario don't know shit. 
even in the motherfucking, um, you know, presidency. Did y'all like Barack Obama? Y'all y'all like Barack Obama? Y'all think he did a pretty good job? I think he did a pretty good job. I'm telling you why, because Michelle wasn't in his business. Because Michelle had a side nigga. Y'all be seeing how George Bush be pushing up on her in them rallies. Yeah. It is what it is. Also, the Bible, religion, immaculate conception. They say that the Virgin Mary was impregnated by God. So you mean to tell me that God was the original side nigga? That's crazy. So with that being said, I don't want to hear no bullshit about me being a side nigga. Because at the end of the day, I was made in his image. Mm. That's funny, huh? Who's your side nigga at tonight? Huh? You know, 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 she didn't say, nah, I guess you don't make the cut. Mm -mm. I tried. Mm -mm. But anyway, man, my mouth dry. Mm -hmm. Tequila Mountain? Broke, I, ain't, I just told you I'm broke. As a matter of fact, I'm so broke, it even uh, affects dating. Because like nowadays, it's so fucked up with dating because there's no in-between. Like either you're going to have to Netflix and chill or fly out to Dubai. <laughs> And I'm what you call a broke romantic. So I ain't got Netflix money or airplane money. But as a broke romantic, what you gotta do is you gotta stick to your strengths. I can cook. And I ain't never met a woman turn on a hot meal yet. And I'm real strategic with the way I do it. See, so you look, I see me and you talking or whatever, right? And you be texting my phone, you like, ooh, what you doing? I ain't letting me cook some stewed chicken, collard greens, cornbread. What would you say? That's fine. You want some? Gotcha, bitch. Because you ain't know I left the house 10 minutes ago. I already had your plate in the passenger seat. Yeah, I've been there. Been ready. Ready to roll. You know what it is. Zach, how am I on time? Three minutes? All right, then. I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here in a little second. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about myself. Is that cool with y'all? That's cool. Can I tell you about myself? That's cool? All right. So, um... I finally was able to uh, uh, leave my job to pursue stand-up comedy professionally. Don't clap for that shit, they fired me. You know what it is. The thing is, I ain't give a fuck, man. I'm gonna tell you why they fired me, because I, I figured out the secret to time. I figured out time travel, that's what it is. I figured out the secret of time travel. Let me tell you the secret. Doug, I told you we family, so I'm keeping you thinking. So a lot of people think that time travel is science fiction. It ain't about science. It's magic. So what I did was the other day, look, you look, you was intrigued, intrigued. Look, look. Okay, look, look, so this is what happened. So my alarm clock went off at six o'clock, and I hit the snooze button, and I said the magical words, just five more minutes, and I time traveled three hours later, made it work, so they fired my ass. Mm. But um, before I get out of here, I'm gonna tell y'all my most traumatic story. So I do not go to strip clubs anymore. I don't. Anybody in here go to strip clubs? I know you go. You, you said you get flew out and shit. Are you the stripper? Oh, okay. I mean, tell you what's coming to me. You, you beautiful woman, you know what I'm saying? You know, little booty smile and everything. So you know what I'm saying? Anyway. But I don't go to strip clubs anymore. I'm gonna tell you what, last time I was at strip club, I was in there, I was in there, I was dancing, having a good time. I seen this fine, light-skinned stripper. And I was like, oh, I gotta get a dance with her. So I was like, so hey, I said, can I get a dance with you? She said, yeah. By the way, my name is Butter. I said, with her ass like that, I can't believe it's not. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, boom, we get, I'm getting a lap dance. I'm getting a lap dance on her, right? Having a good time, she was like, by the way, you want to know why they call me Butter? I'm like, shit, yeah, I got my attention. She said, for an extra 20 bucks, I'll show you. I'm like, shit, you ain't got to tell me twice. What do you mean? So I give her $20. I kid you not. She takes my hand and right in the pussy. Now, I know what y'all thinking. Triple pussy. Ew. <laughs> but when you young and dumb, 
Finger triple pussy is the equivalent of uh, having to take a shit at a 7-Eleven because you're 45 minutes away from home. It looks shady, but it's going to go in anyway. So see, after I get done churning the butter, <laughs> yeah, so now I get it. And I get that channel. I realized that the strip club was a bar and grill. So I went and got me some chicken wings. So I'm in that motherfucker eating chicken wings and find out. And that's how I got AIDS. But I must say, those were the best chicken wings I ever had. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I'm not sure, so I'll take it in. <laughs>